Okay, this video is going to be for part 209-6-48. It's a good thing you're watching the videos too because this one can be kind of tricky and you're going to learn some stuff here on this one. Um, okay, so our overall width on this is um, 4.25 from here to here. The depth of it is going to be 2.5, so that's the width, the depth across there. It's also across this way. The height is going to be across the back part of it here, the top part, what that looks like going this way is going to be 2 inches. Now the base thickness is 0.75, so there's going to be a base here that's 0.75, so that's what that line indicates right there. Um, the upright thickness, so that's this part right up here. From here to here, there's going to be a part that sticks up. That'll be this section up here. That is going to be 1.25 from here to here. The holes going through are in diameter 0.62. A, that opening right there is 0.5. B, so the depth of this dovetail is going to be 0.5 also. Um, C to D, from this, from here to here, is going to be 1.5. And D to E, so from this point right here to this line right here, is 0.75. <clears throat> okay, so we'll go ahead and click on AutoCAD and start a new drawing. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with um, what we do know. Um, change this to front, and I'm going to go ahead and click right on this and rotate that that way. Okay, um, we're going to go ahead and draw this shape that comes down like this. Um, the height, oh, F8, turn that on. The height of the upright in the back there was 2. Um, then across the base of it was 4.25. And the base thickness was um, 0.75, if I remember correctly. Oops, I think something went wrong. 4.25. The base thickness was 0.75. All right, <clears throat> we'll go back up here, click on line. And do it this way. The thickness of the upright was 1.25. 1.25 that way. Um, we'll just come down like that, draw a line that's kind of arbitrary, draw another line here that um, goes across this way and then we'll just trim off these little pieces here here and here okay so now we've got that done click on press pull we can type in p edit and select this do i want to turn it into one yes i do so i right click and then i'm going to click join and do a window around all those and right click and right click and enter so now it's all one polyline. So now when I go up here, I'll click extrude. And the depth of that whole piece was um, 2.5. If I remember correctly, let me double check. So D was 2.5. So 2.5, enter. Okay, so now we got the basic shape that we want. Now the tricky part here is going to be that dovetail on the top. So we're going to switch our UCS back to world plane. Go back up here to the top view. So um, that looks or starts to look like this view right here without the holes in it, without the dovetail in it. So we'll add the dovetail here. All right. So in AutoCAD, um, when you start to make a line, you pick a point, the start point, and go in this direction. You'll notice there with the without. I'm gonna hit turn it, hit F8. You'll see that it gives us um, a um, degree symbol there on the angle that that's at all right so if you want to draw a line at a 45 degree angle right you have to type it exactly like this you go shift and then two so you get the at symbol you'll see it right in there and then you have to give it a distance and let's say this distance has to be longer than um, 0.5 because it's on an angle we're not going to do the math um, we're just going to work it out this way we'll do one and then you do uh, shift and then less than do the less than symbol so that gets us to the part there where we enter the angle and put in 45 all right okay so that gives us a line at a 45 degree angle so let me show you here real quick um, I'll go to annotate real quick what you want to type in when you're typing in for a line to uh, okay so when you type a line what you want to type in is that at the distance, one, angle, 45, and then hit enter. All right, that's what you do, okay? You don't have to do this little bit right there that I did to create the, for the text. That's what you're going to type in to make a line. All right, 
Um, okay, so we're going to cancel that, click on that, and I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. Okay, so then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line that goes from, oops, let's go back home. I'm going to draw a line that that opening across there was A. A was 0.5. So we'll come down here. Turn F8 back on. Go this way, 0.5. All right. Then I can go here and do the mirror command. That's mirror right there. Mirror this. Click a point right there. Come out here. Click a point. I'll delete my source object. No. All right. And then we'll go ahead and do offset. So what we want to know is the distance of B right there. And B is 0.5. So when we do offset... We'll offset a distance there of 0.5 and enter and select this line right here and go that way okay so then we can go up to extend right click with your mouse and go ahead and extend that out there and that one out there go back up here click trim right click with your mouse get this and get this okay so now we'll go back here and click the home button you'll see that that's there and we're going to press pull this a ridiculous distance press pull that so it's way on down here like this doesn't matter um, so then next thing we'll do is we're going to click move move this right here and we're going to use this midpoint here as our base point and move to that midpoint right there all right click erase we're going to erase what we drew originally and then click subtract from this part right here this part right there and it cuts that out of it so then we're ready to go up here we'll go ahead and click on circle and the diameter of that circle was 0.62 so we'll do a circle center diameter and do it right here on that and make that 0.62 alright um, the distance that had to be moved down D to E was 0.75 so oops so we'll go this way um, move this 0.75 that way and then C to D was 1.5 so then we will copy that this way 1.5 alright so we hit escape alright we're going to do that then we can press pull both of these when you use press pull like this it automatically cuts it out still leaves that original thing in there but it did it automatically so I double click my mouse wheel click save I'm going to save that as 209-6-48 dovetail slide. Um, now the interesting part about creating that dovetail like that is you are going to see that on your midterm. Um, so if you listen to this video all the way at least through this far, you know what's coming up. You just got a hint. So now we'll go to print. Extends, move turn, preview, right click and plot, and that is what you will submit to, um, that's what you'll submit right there to Blackboard.